Alright, so now we're able to actually done with those four main modes out of the way. And we've almost nearly towards the end of, uh, you know, the actual Super Mario Party Let's Play. And the next mode we're going to be hitting on to at this point right about now is the minigames mode. So even then, um, what is up ladies and gentlemen, I am Pinkie Pie here. Hey everyone and every pony out there, welcome to you all for some more of the Maxi Toys videos of course. And I'm Sonic the Hedgehog here, of course, I'm from the Muxy Toys even now as well. So yes, uh, yesterday, as we said this before, we did manage to tackle through our soundstage within just only one video. And uh, today, we're about to be going through the first mode in the forms of the minigames mode. And then after the minigames mode has been completely done, we're able to show off some of the... Well, online Mario fun in this case, and especially noticeable with other side modes here and there as well. And next thing you notice is the fact that we can able to, you know, still save the challenge road for last because, you know, that's the way we like it as far as the actual conclusion sta sta statement, as far as you're more already aware. And uh, these are the minigame modes we're gonna have to try out. So even then, we have uh, free play mode, which you can able to play any minigames, whatever you want. Uh, Mario Fun, Square Wolf, and View Records, which sadly, that's not that much in comparison to the forms of other side modes from the past Mario Party games, like for instance, Mario Party 5 has quite a lot of minigame modes, and especially noticeable with Mario Party 6 as well, and especially noticeable with Mario Party 7 and 8, and heck, even Mario Party 9 does have some tons of uh, minigame modes here and there, and heck, even especially noticeable with, uh, What's another game that did actually had a lot more minigame modes? Uh, let's just say Mario Party DS, that's for sure. But, um, it's pretty sad to say that uh, it, when it comes to, like, Island Tour and 10 and Star Rush, and especially noticeable with the Top 100, and in this, it doesn't have that much minigame modes this time around, though, which is kind of weird, but even then, that's as far as we can go. So basically, when it comes to Mario Fun, as you can see right there on this first minigame uh, modes we like to show off, is that, as you can see, we have four series of cups you can actually participate, which are Toad Cup, Toadette Cup, Chemic Cup, and a Custom Cup. Which, as you can tell, four of those cups do have five minigames into their selection. Like, for instance, for example, on this Toad Cup, we're actually going to be playing through Barreling Along, and especially noticeable with Cruising Through the Bruising, and I believe there's also track harder as far as I'm aware. Well, even then, the world findings out is just we're able to actually get things started with, um, you know, Toad Cup. So basically, for Mario Fun, it's just basically if you remember from the Capilon modes from Mario Party 5, 6, 7, and Test for the Best in Mario Party 8, and even Time Attack modes for Mario Party 9 and Island Tour, and Bowser Challenge in Mario Party 10. And especially noticeable with the Capilon mode in, well, obviously, Mario Party, the top 100. You go play through these serious amount of minigames, but it depends on what, how fast you uh, go through. Uh, the more better uh, score uh, points you're able to actually add it into. Like, for instance, we got ourselves 812 points. So even that, though, it's all depending on time. And there's also the likes of how it does it for, well... Unlike any forms of how it does it on Decapolon modes, well, it's almost like exactly the same thing as of how it does it on half Decapolon mode from Mario Party The Top 100, where you basically have to go through 5 minigames as opposed to 10. So, generally speaking, there are 10 minigames on the forms of how it does it on, you know, Mario Fun. So, even then, though, that uh, in order to actually experience all 10 of them, you must play through either the Toad Cup or Toadette Cup. It depends on what cups you're going to be able to participate in from. So, yeah, you probably get the idea to see how this one goes out. And even then, um, the actual Mario fun, at least it depends on what, uh, oh, of uh, what cups you're going to be able to be participating for. Um, it doesn't take that long to able to finish one of the cups. In fact, we like to show off every single cups in this particular mode, including the online version of this particular mode as well. Yeah, just in case we can able to actually showcase off most of these modes of this game, or in this case for this matter for the entire Super Mario Party game, just to ensure how the fact that if no one missing out that, that much. Now, as far as I'm aware, the maximum amount of points, if depends on what cups you're going to be participa participating from, I believe you get about like 5,000 points if uh, if you manage to reach for its higher minimum, then you would able to actually give yourselves a nice little best record. So. Yeah, you get the idea. Those are the mini games you're able to actually go go ahead and play. 
on your thumbs off, you know, on uh, Mario Fun. As you can tell, we've already just played uh, Barreling Along. And it's supposed to be noticeable with Sizzling Steaks. And it's supposed to be noticeable, which is uh, Cruising for the Bruising. And it's also Track Harder, uh, Griddling Godland, and several others here and there as well, like Snack Attack. And it's supposed to be noticeable with uh, Candy Shakedown, and Track Harder, and uh, fre Feeding Frenzy. And finally, uh, wasn't it the ones with, uh, um, oh, I don't know. It's it's just so hard to tell, honestly, guys, because even then, it's such a, you, you know, it's kind of hard to able to memorize any single parts for the actual minigames themselves, but even then, though, because of that, though, then we are able to mention more details onto that whenever we uh, proceed to the next cup, but that's probably for the better. Alright, so here we go. Speaking of uh, track order, here we are. Here we are in that mini game once again. But this time around, though, it's on, you know, Mario Fun Cups. Three, so let's two, get this thing to it. Alright, come on. Come on. Pedal faster, darn it. And sure enough, we actually did make it for under 9 seconds, even though it wasn't exactly the best time of the world, but because of that, though. I'm pretty sure we might actually get ourselves, like, uh, quite a few points around here, so... And on to the final minigame in the Toad Cup, which will have to be, uh, Grid Long Gauntlet, which most of the minigames we saw from the likes of the party boards, I think we there's no need to be able to explain about these instructions, basically, except one last minigame we'd like to be able to show off. Now we'll have to be Feeding Friendsley, which I don't think we've actually played that minigame, because of that, though, we can able to actually show off that particular minigame from it. So, yeah, that's as far as I can go. Oh, yeah, there's also the 10th and final minigame on that specific set, which will have to be Precision and Gardening. So, yeah, because most of the time, though, that's most of these minigames can be summarized as, like, for instance, for example, in this minigame here, whoever able to survive the longest, whoever gets to receive more points. So, I believe the highest rank you can... Uh, the highest... Uh, time you get if you manage to survive this long. It was actually 90 seconds, or in this case, a minute and 30 seconds. So, let me tell you right off the bat, though, much like in any other Mario Party games, it will be very difficult to able to reach up for 1,000 point mark, but we'll try our best if we're able to actually get uh, to deal with for this particular run. In fact, it's not over yet, because when we uh, reach to the 60 seconds mark, then you're able to get a little bit more chaotic than... Uh, than ever before, so yeah, this is purely intense. Yeah, especially notice if you especially noticeable if you ever play this on online, then it'll be extremely chaotic going on right here. So gonna tell you that right about now. Oh jeez. Oh god, we got cornered. Oh jeez, I did not expect that coming. But I on a plus side note, Pinkie Pie, we did that pretty awesome at the end. Even like of how we can able to actually like survive for that as long as it used to be. And I believe, fundamentally though, back into during the likes of in, I would say in Gamescom 2018, or especially noticeable with PAX West in 2018, I, this, I think this is the only mode they actually did focus on back in during and about, uh, you know, PAX West or PAX East, or just basically PAX West in 2018, and I think this is the only mode they actually did go themselves the main focus of. Most notably because of how the fact that, well, they just try to trying out some new mini games and all that stuff, so you probably get the idea for the solutions for this point here. And we're about to be replaying for this mode again, but this time around though, onto the different cup. And in addition with the different cup, we might actually get a chance to able to go ahead and uh well play the new minigame we'd like to try out, which is on the third minigame right here. But of course we need to bypass through uh we need to go through precision gardening first and especially noticeable with snack attack and the fourth minigame will have to be, uh, you know, on this case, sorry, I already said that from earlier ago, but I digress. So, uh, that's as far as, um, that's as far as we can say about when it comes to Mario Fun. There are basically four cups in the game, which I'm sure enough that I kind of wish there's more, uh, minigames in terms of variety. But apart from that, though, much like any forms of how it does it on, uh, you know, Mario Party, the top 100, is that you can't really change... Uh, the minigame order. It's the same applies for the forms of, uh, I would classify for saying, uh, well, let's just say Mario Party Island Tours Time Attack Mode, where you can't able to change the actual minigame order. Well, in some, in some agree, 
on uh, Mario Party 9, at least in that game. But if you do a time attack mode, then you can able to actually change up the actual minigame order. But that's not the case for this game here, because you have to go for the exact same minigames and the exact same repeats or every replay ability. So, but even then though, that's as far as we can able to say about this for the most part though. But hey, at least on the plus side note, then, uh, yeah, that's as far as I can say. Again, there's not much else we get else to really talk about this at this point, guys, because, um, obviously there's not much else to say about this from this point here. And so, whenever we mention more details about these kinds of stuff, and so, whenever we move on to the next cup, so because of this, though, we are now be moving on to the next minigame, in this case, the new minigame we're gonna be showing off for this particular Let's Play, and that is, uh, Feeding Frenzy. And in this minigame, we need to use the Joy-Con vertically, so throw the balls into the open mouths. Making a shot when the mouth is glowing is worth extra points. So yeah, you basically have to hold down the L or the R button, depends on what Joy-Cons you'll be using, and it depends on what throw style you're going to be using. If you throw a little bit light, then it'll actually just make you uh, throw onto the bottom section. But if you throw a little bit harder, then it might actually give you an opportunity to be able to actually get points from the um, the upper section from that cheap jump right there. So, yeah, it might take a while to get used to, especially because of how the fact that, well, especially because if you're used to with, like, uh, keep on throwing the Joy-Con, which, by the way, you do need to use this uh, wrist strap for this uh, minigame, because much like uh, Home on the Ring from uh, River Survival Mode, uh, basically, you need you probably won't able to actually just uh, break your Joy-Con, especially if you break the TV by accident. Then you know, much like the Wii Remote, then it might actually cost a lot of money if you accidentally just, well, not only break the actual Joy-Con, but also breaking this, um, you know, the monitor screen or in this case a TV screen. So probably best you won't do that. So onwards to Fuzzy Flight Score. Alright, so here we go. So yeah, um, about the forms of the play of states, or this case, the play, uh, state of play, that, uh, we like to point things out from that specific point for, um, you know, so forth announcements that we like to say about this after so forth, uh, not so much conversation in, uh, during the likes of in River Survival's uh, hard mode video, that, uh, so far, that, uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake gets, um, uh, more info, as far as I'm aware, like including the forms of that really amazing uh, CGI uh, cinematic right there, and especially noticeable about the fact that they will bring up some more details about Final Fantasy VII Remake it's right at some point in E3 due to Square Enix uh, conferences and stuff. But uh, you know how the fact that Sony is not going to be participating for. Uh, this year's E3, you know, Pinkie Pie. Yeah, I already know that, Sonic, because I've already, uh, seen that, seen that one coming before. Especially since, uh, the very beginning of the year, so to speak, so... But yeah, you can also do perform a little bit of a, some sort of invincibility trick or something like that, but let me tell you, it's actually a little bit tricky to able to achieve that, because most of the time, whenever we're trying to able to go onto the bottom right or the bottom left corner of the screen, Jeez, the amount of hit detection just doesn't really count on us. Yeah, which is why... Oh gosh, we're almost gonna get hit. Oh, is it... Is it gonna be it? Is it going to be it? Oh, jeez! Oh! Just about one second until we're able to reach to its highest amount. Oh, God. Hopefully in the online play, then we shall be able to actually reach for that amount of scores that we can offer. And of course, uh, much like in the Decathlon modes from Mario Party 5, 6, 7, and Test for the Best from Mario Party 8, and even the Decathlon mode from Mario Party uh, on the top 100, then uh, if you get like the fastest time possible, then you weren't able to actually get yourselves the highest score, depends on what mini games you're able to participate participating from, and that way you can able to get yourselves 1,000 points. So, to be expected by the forms of such, um, Several high scores mini games as far as I'm aware. So yeah, you could get you get um sorry for the lack of dialogue for this point, folks, because well once again my throat is actually a little bit dried up. And also, one thing I forgot to mention to you guys about something is that um I felt slightly sick, but even then though, because of that though, I need to able to uh, keep my voice a little bit more steady as it is. So and then plus whenever we finish up with several of uh 
recording sessions on Super Mario Party from now on though, then I would say for this matter though, we'll let Mario go back into the forms of Super Mario Odyssey and during at some point in tomorrow, especially on Wednesday and Friday, because, well, I think seems to say that um, definitely needs to hold up for um, his continuation of the Let's Play of Pac-Man World at some point at the very end of this month, even for the entire May. And uh, because of this though, we need to be able to get this uh, Let's Play finished, uh, possibly in some time in the end of this month, or especially when it gets to June, just like in the forms of how it does it in last year, where basically we just managed to be able to let, I think, Duffy did manage to finish up with his entire Let's Play of Mario Party Advance for about a day before um, Nintendo's E3 has been, uh, well, specifically uh, Nintendo Direct E3 2018 has been launched. So, yeah, that's as far as I'm aware for that point, Pinkie Pie. But even then, yeah, that's as far as I can able to just try to discuss upon for this point. Because of that, though, next cup we're going to be moving on to is, of course, the Chemic Cup. And um, sure enough, we have to go for the exact same mini games as from last time, but um, except with a different order. So, you can then know that's not much else to really say about this here. So, now let's talk about um, some other speculations with all this uh, Nintendo E3 when it comes to Nintendo Direct announcements. Like, for instance, I believe Sonic is already mentioned about. Um, Luigi's Mansion 3, ever since in River Survival's uh, hard mode, or even especially noticeable in River Survival videos and stuff. And um, another thing I was really hyping for when it comes to this year's uh, Nintendo Direct, when it comes to E3 2019, I was hoping that, um, I would say for Mario and Sonic at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games will be on its, um, will be on its way, especially noticeable with the release stage and everything. Even with the forms of the actual gameplay footage, even with the playable demo or something like that, you know, just like in ever since in, uh, uh, let's just say in Mario and Sonic at the Soul Street 2014 Olympic Winter Games back in, uh, E3 2013, especially noticeable with, uh, back in London 2012 Olympic Games back in E3 2011. So, who knows, we're able to actually find things out by that specific time. And, uh, what else is on there when it comes to, like, um... Oh, I don't know, actually, when it comes to that specific other announcements, what do you think? Um, my other speculation, I might as well- Oh, really? Oh, god, that fuzzy just comes out of nowhere. And this will give Waluigi his, uh, good of a- uh, bit of a good start for that specific minigame at the end. But, uh, nonetheless, though, he's probably not gonna catch up to us for the time being, so let's move on to... Ah, uh, you know, snack attack, of course. So yeah, let's go. Let's hop into this, shall we? But even then, though, that will make the right to wait. Though, is that this is going to be that one part where we get it able to seriously going to get ourselves screwed over due to that, uh, you know, that drop shadow I was on about earlier ago from the very beginning. So yeah, you probably get the idea for that point, Pinky. So uh, yeah, another speculation I was going to be hoping to see when it comes to this year's uh, E3 uh, Nintendo Direct 2019. I'm really hoping that Paper Mario will get on its way on the Nintendo Switch, because either way... Oh, really? Oh, stupid meteorite. Bit annoying. Especially noticeable with this very one uh, attack right there. And somehow we got second place due to that happen. So, hopefully though, when we get to cruising for a bruising right here, then we shall be able to catch it. So yeah, you probably get the idea for this point right here. So again, the highest amount of points you can get up to, at least it depends on what cups you're going to be playing through, uh, the highest score you can get up to is easily 1,000. Well, for any mini game, but the amount of totals you can able to reach up for is 5,000 points, just like how it does it on half the Capilon mode from Mario Party the Top 100. So. And of course, as you can see on screen, the player character choice we're going to be selecting on this mode is Dry Bones. So, for those of you probably wondering about that because of how the fact that we actually take control of him. So, yeah, that's as far as I'm aware for this point because we haven't usually select uh, Dry Bones for quite some time. So, even then, there's a good opportunity that we can able to now finally select him ever since injury in that particular timeline. So, but I digress. It's kind of a shame that Bodo wasn't become a playable character once again for about... Uh, the fifth time in a row, ever since back in, like, at least in Mario Party 9, they do have... Oh, wow, these bruisers, they're really trying to catch up. I think the highest amount of points you can get up to with 
the actual time as far as I'm aware. I think the highest you can get up to is uh, 60 seconds. So that's as far as I'm aware. Now, if you're most able to think about something, as you can see, we're actually replaying through our uh, down again. Because, uh, the reason why is because the Chemic Cup does actually contain the random minigame at the end. So if, it doesn't matter which ones they're going to be, like either uh, Trek Harder or Candy Shakedown, as we already going to be playing twice on this mode. Uh, or you can able to play through uh, Positioning Gardening or Barreling Along. Or in this case, for this matter, um, uh, it won't be Fuzzy Flight Score because it's already on here. But uh, to be more accurate though, Pinkie Pie, it will be um, Sizzling Steaks, I'm assuming. Or anything else that will relatable though, Sonic. I'm just going to point things out right away. So yeah, that was it for uh, the first three normal cups. And we're going to show off the last cup in this particular mode, at least for now on anyway. And that will have to be by the forms of the Custom Cup. Which, as far as I'm aware, uh, you can able to actually customize your own... A uh, cup of what mini games of your choice. Like you can only pick about uh, five of those mini games out of ten. So yeah, you probably get the idea for this point right there. So again, again, I kind of wish there's more variety when it comes to like those particular stuff like this. But oh well, it doesn't really matter though anyway. So even then, uh, almost to the Mario fun, at least for the normal mode for the final time, and then hopefully we can able to bump into the. Uh, the online version at some point in the future, well, after several of other side modes, like for instance, you know, Toad Track Room, and especially noticeable with uh, some other extra stuff here we know as well, like for instance, you know. Alright, so for the mini game choice we'd like to be able to actually pick is uh, Feeding Frenzy. Uh, we've already played through uh, Stack Attack, and especially noticeable with uh, Cruising for the Bruising, and especially noticeable with. Uh, the other few mini games for that point. So we'll go for this particular set of mini games as you can see here. But uh, the biggest difference is here is, of course, the different order. So hopefully we can able to play through feeding flintily once again. So yeah, considerably for that matter though, Pinkie Pie. Well, until whenever we show off the square off until next weekend or something like that. Hopefully we might as well be able to get an opportunity that we can able to actually play any single mini games that we have played so far. When it comes to like the actual let's play of this game, so... But then again, we'll see what happens there, we'll uh, definitely see what happens there, so... But anyways, as we said before, when it comes to the speculations of this year's E3 and Nintendo Direct for E3 2019, as I said before, uh, my other prediction for this is the new Paper Mario game for the Nintendo Switch, because it's been about... Almost three years since the last entry, well, the previous entry of the Paper Mario games, which will have to be uh, Color Splash, which, to be honest with you, I haven't really gone back into that game yet, because, well, I think it's because of the fact that I'm still not a big fan of the actual, like, well, the, the game itself is pretty fun, don't get me wrong, it's just that I wasn't really big, huge upon the forms of the battle system, because even then, uh, it's basically, it's like, uh, Sticker Stars, of course, because... The biggest difference here is that you're gonna have to use cards as opposed to stickers. And, um, also have the same issues I have with, uh, Sticker Star. Even though, uh, speaking of Sticker Star, I haven't exactly completed that game yet either, because I'm still stuck on that. I'm still stuck on that last level in the whole entire game, which appears to be World 6 3. And for the love of God, the battle itself just dragged, even way more dragged on. Then he forms of how he does it on any other Paper Mario games, that's for sure. Because you have to go through endless amount of rooms, and especially noticeable with the endless amount of enemies you have to stop against. And, uh, most of the time, it just really dragged on. At least even then, I'll give, uh, Sticker Star or the Color Splash, uh, Final Boss some credit, though. Is that they don't easily drag on, because even then, you have to simply, well... Um, even though that Sticker Star, Color Splash was actually... Almost three years old for that time, so we're not going to spoil things too much about that game, because even then, it might easily contain some spoiler territory right there, so, yeah, that's as far as I'm aware for that, so, anyways, though, let's move on to Sizzling Stakes right here. And of course, this of course this won't be the final time we're going to be seeing these mini games here because obviously we will come across into those kinds of mini games again until Challenge Road starts to shine. Yeah, which is probably true for that simulations as far as I'm aware. 
Uh, speaking of stipulations, when it comes to the next part of the E3 2019, I was expecting if, uh, um, what else they actually did manage to able to suggest by the forms of speculations? Um, I would say for another 3D Mario game, well, if possibilities, because, well, it kind of feels like the same way for how we used to done back in 2000. Well, in June and likes to have been uh, E3 2009, they did announce Super Mario Galaxy 2, the true sequel to Super Mario Galaxy, the original game, but uh, even then, though, I found these two games extremely enjoyable to play through, even because of how the fact that those two are easily, without doubt, one of my favorite Nintendo Wii games I've ever played, even a little bit more epic than ever will be. So, anyway, so next up we have is Positioning Gardening, which I can assure to you that, um, I've no idea why I truly say that particular word right there, um, uh, whatever. But anyways, let's go ahead and just keep on, um, pumping the water out, and, uh, hopefully we can able to actually just, uh, hopefully get ourselves a little bit of a faster time right there, so, uh, that's as far as I can most, like, concern of, so... But anyway, so here we go, and oh yeah, we actually did reach for about 15 seconds, and uh, 36 or 8 milliseconds. I can't really tell which one's which, mind you, but I'm pretty sure enough that we actually, oh, we're done? Oh, okay. So yeah, Precision and Guarding will be the last mini game of this entire set of the Custom Cup, so... Yeah, you probably get the idea for that part, so... Anyway, so we did manage to win all four of those cups, basically, because, sure enough, we actually did this pretty nicely done. Even though it's not the perfect run, I have to admit, though, right away, because there are a few times, though, that, um, you know, sometimes the actual bruises themselves, on the actual bruising for the, uh, cru cruising for the bruising minigame, they come up as way too fast in, you know, the later portion of the mode, so... Yeah, I guess we'll end things off at this point here, so join us uh, the next weekend of Let's Play Super Mario Party is that we're about to be moving on to the next minigame mode, and that will have to be Square Wolf. So, see you guys in the next weekend. Later, fellas. See you then.